Hey guys, in this video, let me show you how to reset and set up this Google Nest Mini in 2024. Firstly, let's have a look on how to reset this Nest Mini. Firstly, connect this smart speaker with your power and currently it's in the on condition. You can able to see a microphone here. You need to just turn off the microphone. You should see the orange color. Then the microphone has been turned off. And also in the speaker, you can see the four orange lights. So just press and hold the speaker continuously. I am doing now. So you can able to hear some uh, digital voice. After that, now again enable the microphone and it will take some time to set it up you can able to see four lights are uh, flowing here and there so so finally you can able to hear this uh, sound so this is a successful Hi. completion namaste to get started download the google home app aram karne ke liye google home app download kare so now this is a successful completion of the reset process now once you completed the reset just take your android smartphone and go to the google home application you can able to find the google home in all the latest android smartphones once you enter the google folder or else you can just go to the play store and search for home and click on the search so you can able to see the google home here so firstly just update the google home application after update that just open it so now in the google home application click on the devices now here click on the add option now click on the google nest or partner device and if you want the same home means you can just click on this home or if you want to add to another home means you can select the add another home so then it will be added to the separate home now i am just clicking on the next so allow the nearby devices setting just click on the allow and then allow the location access and activate the wi-fi enable it enable the wi-fi now it actually searching for Google Nest Mini. So Nest Mini actually found. Click on the S. And that's it. Now it actually connected. So you can able to hear the sound. Yes. Click on the S. Just click on S I am in and you can select the in which room you want you can select the room and click on the next and you need to firstly connect with the wi-fi you can able to see your wi-fi network select the wi-fi network and click on the next now enter your wi-fi password and if you want to remember the password check mark this option and click on the connect now the nest mini is connecting to the wi-fi network so if you get like this error message means so your nest mini is all set up successfully but can't be found Make sure the mobile device and Nest Mini are on same Wi-Fi network. Currently, I am connected with the same Wi-Fi network in mobile and in the what network I am trying to connect on the Google Nest Mini. But there is a one more option is the turn off AP isolation. So in your Wi-Fi configuration page, you need to turn off the AP isolation. Then only you can able to set up the Google Nest Mini with the Google Home application. So for that, just click on the OK now. Now just head into the router configuration page. What router you are using, just go to that configuration page. I am using the TP-Link router. But what Wi-Fi router you are using, just go to the wireless and go to the advanced settings. In the wireless advanced settings, you can able to see the AP isolation option. You need to just disable this option and click on the save. Now once you turned off the AP isolation in your router configuration, so now again continue with the setup. So you can already see the local devices here the speaker just to click on this in the Google Home application and select the room and click on the next and click on the next. Actually it is already get connected with the Google Nest Mini. If you already entered the Wi-Fi password during the Google Nest Mini connection so and after uh, turned off the AP isolation it automatically get connected. Now we are entered into the setup. So it's already done. You can just click on the continue here. So just click on the next, next, next and click on the continue. So finally it's almost finished. So the Wi-Fi network is automatically get connected. So once you disabled that AP isolation, so and if you already entered the password during connecting with the Google Nest Mini means, so it automatically get connected once you turned off the AP isolation. Now finally click on the continue and click on the next. 
so you have to just tap center on the nest mini and then for volume increase decrease so it act and mic switch is there and done and click on the continue hi i'm your google assistant i'm here to help to learn a few things you can do continue in the google home app so the finally the google nest mini setup has been done so once you click on the devices here you can able to see the speaker you can decrease or increase the volume and you can cast your audio also here so you once you click on the cast my audio click on the cast audio click on start now so now whatever audio if i am actually try to play so it will be casted here for example so it's really good so you can disconnect the casting screen here in the notification bar in the android phone so and that's it